Hey there crazy crew, welcome back to JNC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today I am making my first Easter card. A Easter! So this card was made with items I received in the Positively Paper Craft... Yes, Positively Paper Craft March Kit. You got papers? Ooh, loads and loads. Look, I've got one of Riley's hairs as ready. These are the stamps you got. You got a die, you got other stuff. Loads. Anyway, I am using the stamps to create my card. This time I'm going to make a... I'm not going to use the papers. I'm going to make a full... make this here a full A6 card okay so where do we begin at the beginning granny as tj would say so right this tree here is from i received this stunt set a couple of years ago from a magazine it was one of the free stunt sets but I have since seen that it is on AliExpress. I saw a girl do a video which included this. So, there you go. You can put these hearts, leaves and wee flowers onto the tree. But I didn't do any of that, of course, because I stumped it and cut it out with my scaling cut. So I did. Right. So, what did I use? Yes, I used those. What else did I use? I used long fawn grassy hillside borders. I used long fawn... what is it? Forest border. This little flower is from a stump and upset called A Little Wild. These little flowers are from... You know, why don't I just get out my book where I kept all the destructions? This card here I'm using is Stumpin' Up Call Me Clover. Hey, hey. That cloud came from my favourite things up in the air. Yes, I told you about the flower. Tiny tree flowers are from the Paper Crafter magazine number 128, which was November 18. And I think that's us. I think we've cracked it. And the only other thing we're going to use is Distress Inks, which I didn't write down. Which I will have to, because if I don't write all this stuff down, then I go to do a blog post. I totally have no idea what I used and um, sometimes by the end the card is actually gone to the charity shop. So one learns from one's mistakes and doesn't repeat them. So we're going to put that back in there. That was a 6x6 six six one. So this time I'm going to do, I've done my envelope and my cellophane bag. That's a bit of spare card if we need it. This is for inking on. Oh yes, this time I'm going to try. This is a tree die I found in my stash, okay? And that's the tree it cuts out. And I have cut them out in orange and pink too. Oh, and a yellow one. And I thought I might cut the little hearts off and put them over that. As flowers instead. Well, I don't know whether they're hearts or leaves, but they look like both actually. So anyway, I shall let you decision: are they hearts or are they leaves, or are they both? Hey hey, and that's my little flower. I've got too many little flowers. So I actually forgot to get out my inks. Look, I got everything out but them. Oh yes, and I'm changing the bunny this time. I've this one. The last time I used that one, 
the one that's puking up out of the grass because I actually stamped them all and coloured them in with my Arteza and I had to buy Bristol Smooth card to get the Arteza to actually work with water and believe you me it's not cheap especially when you're sitting down colouring in and your five-year-old grandson says Granny can I help you colour and your first sheet of this expensive card is all coloured in by a five-year-old oh my giddy aunt this is what he did this is my one you see he had to have and he had to get it, cut it all up so that he had to get to cut it all up into wee bits so those were my two and he gave me the colors i had to use so and then we had to color them the outside and then we had to make rainbows where it says rainbow yes there it says rainbow oh my it was funny it was fun. I don't care about the card. I was more interested in playing with him. Just happy he was there. Okay, so I've got my distress inks out and I'm using tumbled glass and salty ocean. And I'm going to do it in this because when I do it on my glass mat and clean it, it always ends up a bit of residue on the back of my card somehow or other so i'm going to do it on this one and i'm going to use my light bow brush and slow but sure and i just want to do the top two thirds i think so i do of this card because the the grass and the forest border will come up I know this colour is really light so it's hard to see it but it is there I promise I promise I promise I promise would I lie to you <laughs> I know I'm an utter right so I'm going to take it down a wee bit more. If you did it with the Distress Oxides, it would go quicker, but it's also more opaque, and that was not the colour I wanted. Okay. So there we go, that'll do for that one and now I'm going to take the salty ocean and it goes on much quicker. You can actually see it, which is why I'm taking most of it off on my mat before I put it on, otherwise I would have a big a big blob on there and I would not be a happy teddy bear so now I'm going to go back in with the light blue just in the center and that will be it for our background easy peasy lemon squeezy Right? I want it a bit darker at the sides, I think. I've decisioned. I've decisioned I want it a bit darker. And one wants one tries to get. I have to say, this positively paper craft kit was absolutely amazing value for money so I was happy to purchase it right so let's do this one again right that's me I'm happy now with me 
my background. Okay, so let's put the messy stuff away. Right, and I'm going to put a very light spray of water on that. I don't want too much. I think that's plenty, actually. And just dab it off. See? Then I am going to spray it with this all purpose ink from Stampin' Up frost white it's in a little bottle with some alcohol whatever you call it rubbing alcohol and i'm just going to that's only the top i need done and then i'm going to let that dry so i am and i'm going to set that over there out of the way and clear up the clear up the mess. Okay. So what do we want to do next? Next we want to start building our scene. So I'm going to take these and cut some of them off and put them on my card. and see how it works okay just like little pink flowers it might work and it might not work but one never knows till one tries okay I don't need them all, but I do need some different colours, so whichever ones I didn't cut on that, I'll cut on this one. If I can get in at them. Okay. And I haven't cut that one off. Okay, um, maybe the, this one. Um, this one. Okay, and then we will check on the orange one. Um, no, we won't. We're going to... Get a bit of card and stick on what we can for the time being and see how it goes. Okay. I'm going to start with the biggest ones. And I need a picky upper. I need a picky upper. I don't like this stamping up thing. Every time, every time you open it, some more comes out, and it's too much. But I'm not buying another one until I've used it up. So I'm not, and that's all there is to it, right? Okay. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Did I put glue? There's not even any glue in that one, Jackie. You numpty. What are you? You numpty. No, that bit's been cut off. That's not cut off right. Get off. Oops, can't get it off now. Get off. That was close. Right. Where will this one go? 
Will that one go on there? I think it'll do if we're not proud. Okay. And I need a couple of orangey ones as well. No, that's no I want. I want, I want, I want. Right, I'm going to cut some of these off and come back when I've done it for... It's finickety. Yay, I did it! That was really finickety. But, it's done. Can you even see the shine on that? Oh, that's... Gee whiz. Pretty. Right, so then we're going to decide where everything's going. Now, I hadn't decided about, that reminds me, I hadn't decided whether I was putting it on a bit of green card before I put it on my card base because of that. But I'm not sure I like that. If I just put that on there. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, decisions, decisions. That is a bigger gap at the bottom than at the top, which doesn't really matter because we're covering it up. So do we just go straight on like that? Straight on to our base. You see in that one I did a black layer. I wonder if I did a black layer again. Right. What size is that card base exactly? It is four and one eighths by five and three quarters. It's actually just over five and three quarters. Which we don't want. Okay. Is that a bit better? There, okay. So then if we got a piece of black card that was five and a half. By three and seven eights. Okay. And then we did this bit. This bit would then go down to three and five eighths, which we're just going to go over three and five eighths, and that would be five and a quarter, but we're just going to go over five and a quarter. So that's it. We've done the cutting, that's the way it's going now, whether we like it or not. Right. Ooh. So, let's just do a test run to see where we want everything. Okay, and then our little bunnies popping out of the forest in the grass. Like that. I want the grass down further. And go down further with that and go down further with that. Like that. No point in putting the, the town border in if you can't see the darn thing. But still that does not please me. I want that a bit there. I know, pernickety, aren't I? Pernickety beast. Hurricane. Like that. Shall we be brave and go for it? Or shall we not? Is the question. Don't you... One, two, three. F the third one in. And I'm just doing this round the edge. And it's on the third tree in. 
just for now. Okay. See, I've got orange ink all over me. I was um, creating an orange Easter card earlier on. But this was the first one I made. Sink. And then we're just going to cut off the bits we don't want. And once that's done, that's it. There's no going back. Unless one wishes to start all over again. Which one doesn't? Let me tell you. Right. Okay. Camera ran out of room. I had to go delete some stuff. Right. Where were we? In our dissecting process. See, I would like that a bit there. Which bit do I want where? I kind of want to see his arms. But I need to see the forest too. So I think I'm going to go with that. Where am I? Decisions, decisions, decisions. I'm going to go with that. Cricket as it is, yes, I know, but these things can be rectified. Right? This is it. We're going for it. Oh, she did it. One more. And we did it. Right, let's glue our tree down before we forget. I've got to leave my glue upside down and it's a little bit neat. A little shake to get it going. It's a bit like me. I need a shake to get me going sometimes. That's that's going to be our tree. And then this is going to go on there. And then what? Oh yes. Oh yes. Sorry, if I'm doing this off camera, I do apologize. I keep forgetting. I just need that level and I need that level somebody right and then our wee bunny wabbit will go in there and once I get that down I'm going to put him on some phone tape I think or we are going to attempt to see how it would look There's a little bit of foam tape behind him. Here, bunny rabbit. Do they still go and get hard boiled eggs and roll them down hills at Easter? That's what I remember doing as a child going to our local park and it had a big long hill. And you stood at the top of it with your hand, hard boiled egg that you painted, of course. It had to be painted. And you rolled it down the hill to see who would smash. TJ would love that. TJ likes to smash things. Yesterday, no, not yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. Saturday. He stayed Thursday night and he stayed Friday night. Spoiled little beast that he is. I want to stay at Granny's house. Well, oh, Granny doesn't want you. Oh, Granny wants a break. Like that's ever going to happen. But, anyway, 
anywho. Right, and then our black bits going on there. Like that. Yes, and we're playing a game. Something to do with Bendy, which I have no idea. And these things that he, he had to drink these things. Had to go and find them and drink these things. I think it's a computer game or something. And then Bendy was invisible, so we had to go and find TJ, but TJ was invisible because he was Bendy, so we had to pretend TJ wasn't there. He has an amazing imagination, that child. Amazing. Right. And then that will go on our little card base like that. How pretty is that? So, what do we want to do next? Yes, we want to put our wee birdie in. That is from up in the air. And... We've got a couple of wee flowers. I see more there. Where did they go? Typical. Flowers are all there until you want them and then they disappear. Oh, I've decided I'm just going with the one flower, even though I did find another one. But oh, there's another one too. So we've got three. Should I wait till I put my sentiment on? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's glue that wee boy down. We're happy with her in there. It's a flower. It's a nice wee guru flower, I've decisioned. There you go. Hey. Hey ho, and off we go. Right, let's put our panel down. Make sure our card is the right way. Okay. There she blows. Yes, we like that, so we do. Right. Are we putting on a wee cloud? Put on a wee cloud and a wee birdie. Not too big for that. Nope, fits perfectly. So we've got a wee birdie up in the tree singing. And we've got a wee cloud floating by. Is that too big? Nope. Just Bits. Okay. That little cloud's going to go up in there. And we're going to take some Nuvo. What do you call it? Shimmer. Glitter gloss. And we're just going to gloss our flower. I know you can't see it, but. Once it dries, it's sparkly. So it is sparklicious. Right, now we need to do a sentiment. So, where is it? We are using... We are using the Happy Easter one. And we have a skinny bit here. Okay. Or maybe we'll use the Sunbunny Loves You this time. Just to be different. Right, I'm bringing this really close to me. I see what I'm doing. Okay, right. 
There we go. Now we need ink. This is a uh, hybrid ink from Simon Says Stamp that I got in this March kit. It's called Lucky, I think. What is it called? Aye, Lucky. It's for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, we can live with that one. Right, get out of there, clean up. Operation clean up. Get rid of that and keep your stump away. That looks very green still, doesn't it? Where's the differ? That's just the way it is. Oh well, that's okay. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put have a bright and sunny day inside when I'm done. When I'm done being pernickety. Right. Scissors come to me. So I am just going to do that and then I am going to take that round to that side and do the same so that, so that I get that. Now we need some uber skinny sticky. We need it uber skinny. One, two. One, two, skip a few, 99, 100. I used to teach Taylor that. <laughs> we used to have great fun. We used to, I used to pick him up from school and we would go to the Boating Lake. Or it's actually the local duck pond and it's got ducks and a lovely winter or a walk, you know, and a park. We used to go along there and spend a couple of hours every day after school and now he doesn't want to go out the door he just wants to play the blinking games but I'm going to try and take them both bowling the next time I have them both together which is not very often because they annoy each other well, no, that's not true. TJ annoys Tyler, but TJ loves Tyler. So, TJ loves Tyler, Tyler just doesn't love TJ. <laughs> Typical young boys. Right, so we're going to put our mark on the back, and that, at last, is that. Yay! And there is my pretty card that is that size. And there is my pretty card that is 6x6 size. So I like the distance of this one better, which is why I changed it to that. But I do like that with the papers and that behind it. So anyway, those are my Easter cards on today, the 18th of March. I'm not even sure if you'll get up put up before Easter because at this point I don't even know when Easter is. There you go now. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. For those that subscribe, thank you, thank you, thank you. And anybody that comments, you are amazing. And if you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome. So till the next time, Jackie out.